Today, as you might have guessed, we will talk about silver, its uses in different industries, and we will address, discuss about the shortage of silver around the world. So let's get to it. Is there a shortage of silver in the first place? Now for those who's been stacking and following the market like myself and you watching the video probably, we all know the emergence of renewable energy is a huge factor, essentially solar energy. An average solar panel uses about 20 grams of silver per panel essentially what it means as well is it's the major player in the expansion of, of uh, renewable energy or one of the major uh, player now <laughs> for uh, environmental enthusiasts silver must be their favorite metal as it plays a key role in the quest for a green revolution and a carbon zero future Okay, so when we talk about silver, we have to look at the uh, automotive industry because silver plays a major role in that sector. As we all know, electric vehicles requires batteries to operate. <laughs> batteries not included. Now, they are included, of course, obviously I was joking, but those batteries require silver in it. Now, a typical 100 kilowatt of battery holds around 200 cells. Now each shell requires about 5 grams of silver for a total of about 1 kilogram of silver per batteries. Now that's a huge factor in the equation and the silver demand that will continue to grow in the future. It's not going to be done overnight but in the next decade or so we will see more and more electric vehicles. In the communication sector a typical smartphone, like the one you're probably using right now that you have in your hand, requires roughly 90 milligram of silver and 35 milligram of gold. Yep. And for the 5G deployment, uh, even if it's, in its, it's still in its early stage, and yet the silver demand for it is approximately 7.5 million ounces. And it's predicted that it will require around 23 million ounces by 230. Uh, if we uh, take a look at the chart here, we can see through the years 2022-2023 the supply and demand. Now, I'm, I'm going to go roughly here. I'm going to round up, uh, up these numbers. Now, 2023, the supply was roughly 1 billion ounces for a demand of 1.2 billion ounces, as we can see right here. Now, in Mexico alone, the country known to produce silver, especially jewelry, nice jewelry, silver, I, I collected those. They're just beautiful, uh, awesome silversmith in Mexico. I've seen a drop of 10% of silver extraction in 2023 alone. Now, the London Bullion Market Association reported a significant drop of over 300 million ounces of silver from its uh, inventory peak in 2021, pushing the narrative of a silver shortage. Now, another industry that actually surprised me, I didn't know it used so much silver, is the film industry. Well, I knew that the film required silver. Now, I knew that, but in the U.S. alone, the film industry uses 93 million ounces of silver annually in the USA alone. Imagine around the world. Now, I, that, that, this I was surprised. Like, the, this number is just staggering. All right. Uh, in the national defense, it's the top eight minerals used by the U.S. 
uh, they say a Tomahawk missile use 500 uh, ounces of silver. It's not true. It's not real. Uh, it's classified, but it's most likely 10 to 15 ounces uh, per uh, missile. Well, something has to be done, especially in the future, to st stabilize a worldwide uh, shortage of silver if we can consider that the demand will continue to grow in all those industries. Essentially, silver is a byproduct of extraction of other metals. Opening a new mine exclusively for silver is just not profitable enough for companies to do so. It's not like the uh, medieval era. In those days, like Otto the Great of the, the Holy Roman Empire uh, discovered a couple of mines in his county, if I'm not mistaken, and he went rich overnight, so to speak. He could pay his men at harm, he could hire mercenaries to, to continue his wars against uh, Hungary and such. Because back then everybody was paid in silver and gold and they were paid in real money. So if you did discover a new silver mine in your county or your fiefdom, you were rich. Unlike today, which is just not profitable to extract, this, uh, to uh, build silver mine exclusively for extracting silver. In order to do so, silver will need to rise in price drastically in order to be profitable. The problem is the paper market. Now, we all know that the paper market manipulation is just rampant. For those in the circle, we are all aware of the manipulation done by the COMEX trading. Uh, roughly 400 ounces of paper silver for one ounces of physical silver. So if you would put 400 people in a room and they wanted their silver, there would be one round, one ounces of silver in the middle of the room and they would have to fight for it. Well, it's a little like crude uh, for an example here. It's a little uh, extreme, but you know, it's just to give you an idea. Uh, other solution is would be to reopen old mines. Now in Canada, Nord Precious Metal Mining Incorporated announced not so long ago that it plans to reopen or revive a silver mining operation near Gowanda, north of Sudbury. In Guatemala, the giant Vancouver headquartered mining giant Pan American Silver is pushing the Guatemalan government to reinstate the suspending mining license of the PAS Guatemala. Of this alone, would allow the company to begin extracting the 264 million ounces of silver of proven silver reserve, nonetheless. Uh, it won't be enough to alleviate the problem of uh, and uh, it will not solve, solve the problem of silver and demand and the shortage of silver, but it's kind of help. It's a, it's a solution, short-term solution. Another solution would be to find cheaper ways to find technologies that enable the uh, extraction of the white metal of silver in a cheaper way like it to be cheaper to extract that metal so we uh, so they can open new mines so it could be profitable to actually mine silver well this is it for today's video guys i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to subscribe like and share and thank you for watching i'll see you soon